Hi viewers, in this video we will see how to separate hysteresis and eddy current losses from the total core losses in single phase transformer. During this test, the LV side is excited with the rated voltage and hence the wattmeter placed on LV side will reach the iron losses. And we know that the iron losses is the sum of hysteresis loss and the eddy current losses. The main intention of conducting this experiment is to determine the magnitude of eddy current losses and hysteresis losses separately. And this is the formula for hysteresis losses and this is the formula for eddy current loss. This is the entire circuit diagram. It consists of motor and this part is the generator and the transformer. Now we will see one by one in detail. This is the transformer circuit alone. The secondary has kept opened. On this transformer we should conduct an experiment to separate the losses. As this experiment should be conducted at variable voltage and frequency by maintaining the ratio of V by F constant. Hence we are using the synchronous generator. For measuring the power, voltage and current we are using the voltmeter, ammeter and the wattmeter. To drive the synchronous generator we require a motor. We are using the DC motor to drive the synchronous generator. Now we will discuss the procedure for conducting the experiment part wise. First we will discuss for motor and next we will discuss for the generator. This is a motor circuit, DPST switch, 3 point starter, rheostat placed in the field circuit and this is the armature circuit. At starting the rheostat of the DC motor is kept in the minimum resistance position. The DPST switch is closed with the help of 3 point starter the motor is started. By adjusting this field rheostat the speed of the motor is adjusted such a way that the synchronous generator should rotate at synchronous speed. For synchronous generator at the time of starting the potential divider in the field circuit is kept in the minimum voltage position. The DPST switch is closed. Now we are going to adjust the excitation until this generator generates the rated voltage of the transformer. The readings of voltmeter watt meter and ammeter are noted. The frequency corresponding to rated speed will be equal to the rated frequency of the transformer. The ratio of V by F is maintained constant throughout the experiment. The input frequency to the transformer is varied by varying the speed of the set with the help of the motor field rheostat. Now we will discuss the procedure by considering the entire circuit. Initially the DPSC switch of the motor is closed. With the help of 3 point starter we should start the motor. Now by using motor field rheostat we should rotate the alternator or a synchronous generator at rated speed. Then we need to increase the field excitation of a alternator until this generator generates the rated LV voltage. Now tabulate the readings. This corresponds to one set. Do the same thing for two or three different speeds. At each frequency the corresponding speed and the readings of voltmeter and wattmeter should be noted in the tabular column. This is the tabular column. Let me explain this with some numerical data. The alternator is rotated at rated speed. At rated speed the frequency will be the rated frequency that is 50 hertz. We are adjusted the field excitation of generator until it generates the rated LV voltage that is 115. The ratio of V by F that is voltage to frequency is that is 115 by 50 is 2.3. This 2.3 is maintained constant throughout the experiment. At this speed the wattmeter reads 21. At this speed the wattmeter reads this reading. At this speed the wattmeter reads this reading. Now take the ratio of P by F that is a wattmeter reading by frequency 0 0.42, 0 0.49 and 0 0.39. Now you need to draw 
a graph of frequency versus p by f on x axis we have taken the frequency and on y axis we have taken the ratio of p by f at 50 hertz the value of p by f is 0.42 this is the first point at a frequency of 47 this is a 47 at a frequency of 47 hertz the p by f is 0.41 similarly the frequency of 46 hertz the value of p by f is 0.39 draw the straight line connecting minimum two points as i draw on the line which connects these two points now from this point draw a line parallel to x axis as i draw on the line parallel to x axis now draw the perpendicular line from any point i am considering this point from this point i am drawing the line where this represents k2 into f similarly this represents the value of k1 now you need to calculate what is the value of k2 and what is the value of k1 let me get the value of k2 f here from the graph it is clear that the value of k2 into f is equal to 0.35 actually we are concentrating on getting the value of k2 where k2 is equal to 0.35 divided by f at this point at this point the frequency is 46 substitute that k2 is equal to 0 0.0076 from the graph directly you can tell what is the value of k1 the value of k1 is 0 0.04 k2 is k1 and k2 are the constants it doesn't have any units now we got the values of k1 and k2 we know that the value of k1 is 0 0.04 it's multiplying 0 0.04 with the frequency we'll get we'll get this value as 2 and this value as 1.88 and this value as 1. Point k2 into f square where k2 we determined as 0 0.007 into f square 19 and similarly we'll get this value as 16. Point 7. Similarly, you will get this value as. Now, the total losses will be the sum of hysteresis losses and eddy current loss. This is 21 obtained by the calculation, and this is the date result obtained from the wattmeter reading. This is how we can separate the hysteresis and eddy current losses in a single phase transformer by conducting the experiment for conducting this experiment we need three devices that is one is transformer in this we are going to separate the losses and next one is the alternator or ac generator this is required to get a variable frequency and one more device is the motor this is used to run the generator